Chelsea have just beaten Ghent 4-2 in our first game in Europe in a long time. And it's a convincing win. And I'll be honest, I'm finding it really difficult not to be really positive about this Chelsea side. It doesn't matter who we play, what rotations happen in our squad. We cannot stop scoring goals. Six against Wolves, four against Brighton, a load against Barrow with hat-tricks. We've had like three hat-tricks this season. And then today, our first test in Europe, a lot of these players haven't played in Europe before. At least for Chelsea, they haven't. And we go and do that. Another four against Ghent. And when you're asking players to step up and you're asking for comp a competitive squad that can compete against each other, you can't ask for more right now. Jackson doesn't score at the weekend and Kunku scores again. He's piling the pressure on Jackson to keep scoring. Madueke doesn't score, Neto scores. Piling the pressure on. People qu questioning Enzo Fernandez. Dewsbury Hall goes and has a really good game tonight. Scores from midfield. In a game where a lot of people are saying, look, we need to see a bit more from Dewsbury Hall. He has quite a good game. Cassidy, a young kid. People are saying, is he capable of stepping up? What a mature performance tonight. Everywhere we're seeing rotation right now, I'm comfortable with. It's not like we're bringing in someone that's really subpar. And look, I don't like to call players out all the time, but I think there were moments where Badashile was a little bit sloppy this evening. And he paid for it on the second goal. And I think that can be worked on. I think that can be coached because we've seen a better Badashile than we have. And ultimately, if that's the biggest issue that we've got is not switching on from a second phase of a set piece and a little bit of an individual mistake in that moment to concede the second goal, and that's our biggest issue, then my gosh, what a stark contrast to last year. We are in such a better place. It wasn't long ago... We had goal of the month competitions where we scored one goal or an academy player won it because we didn't score a goal in a month. We can't stop scoring. We're the highest scorers in the Prem. We've started off Europe with the same intention to do that. Four against one of the more established teams in this competition is a great result, however you dress it up. The fact that we made 11 changes just shows the level of this squad. I have to praise Maresca. It's impossibly difficult not to. It's a breath of fresh air. The football we're playing is incredibly entertaining at times. And also, I'm starting to see the level of control that he's spoken about a lot in games. It's not always end-to-end. -end. At times, you can see quite obviously the instruction coming across to put your foot on the ball, try and control the game, work a more creative opportunity and a more incisive opportunity but at times if the counter-attack is there open that team up go straight through the heart make it incredibly difficult for that team to defend you in that moment with pace and power and precision we're capable of scoring so many different types of goals at the moment headers shots from in and outside the box set pieces free kicks we look so dangerous going forwards and I think that's why so many teams are struggling because if they set up one way, Chelsea seem to have an answer right now in another way. And if you mark one player out of the game, there's enough quality on the pitch for someone else to score. And if the quality can't get on the pitch in that game and it gets rotated out for the next game, there's enough quality there to go and score four goals. 22 different players at least have played in the last two games for Chelsea. And we scored eight goals. And there's a different set of players in both games. That is a level of competition that this squad hasn't had for a long period of time. Maybe ever. And it does make you wonder that maybe we are moving in the right direction and doing it at an incredibly quick rate. And I know people are talking about this Chelsea team and big, big discussions about top four and winning this conference league. And I know it's not given. But when you play football and you go forward and it looks this easy... Maybe you do strike a bit of fear into the opposition and maybe if it carries on and we navigate tougher tests with ease, you have to look at where Chelsea could potentially finish this season. And all I'll say is, just remember where we were last year. This is a huge change. And maybe that leads to a change in our fortunes because you can't deny it. It's fantastic. There's an air of confidence about this Chelsea squad. There's camaraderie. 
every player that played at the weekend was there tonight on instruction from Maresca to go and support the players that are fighting for their place. And it's the same. If they don't get into the Premier League squad, they're there and they're supporting and they're on the pitch at the end, shaking hands and congratulating the players. We're winning as a team. We are battling these fixtures as a team. Whether you're on the pitch or you're not, there's a togetherness about Chelsea at the moment and the fans can see it because the fans are coming together as well and the positivity is ringing out. There's been a lot of negative and a lot of a lot of not nice times as a Chelsea fan recently with on and off the field issues and a mess and stuff overhanging the team that shouldn't have been there and Tottenham managers in the dugout. That's not what Chelsea is, but this feels a little bit more familiar. And maybe this young group of players is really starting to show that the ceiling is incredibly high for them. And long may it continue. And Maresca's made a really positive start. I'm yet to, to really lay judgment on it, but every game I'm seeing improvements. And I want to see how he navigates low blocks. And I want to see how he navigates tougher competition. And I want to see how he navigates just the overall team management over a longer period of time. But it's hard not to not to commend him for what he's doing. It's incredibly good. Like the difference in him and Pochettino at the same time and the same amount of time in games and, and being involved with this Chelsea squad, it's drastically different. We weren't scoring goals at this rate last year and we weren't fixing and addressing issues at the speed we are now under Maresca. And there wasn't this level of camaraderie between the players. And we weren't able to rotate with such ease. Remember the Wimbledon game? was set piece and a header, I think, was what we relied on to win that. We've cruised past Barrow. We've cruised past Ghent in Europe. And I'm not saying they're unbelievable teams, and I'm not getting ahead of myself. But you can't deny what's in front of you. The fact is there that Chelsea are finding it incredibly easy to score goals at the moment and you almost take it for granted oh it's only four and we let in two but when you look around Europe and you see the other Prem teams and who they've played and moments in their game haven't looked all that convincing and we're doing this with ease with a whole 11 rotated players yeah maybe the future's really bright and uh I'm excited for the Nottingham Forest game. If you haven't already, make sure to smash a like on the video because I genuinely am enjoying making every video right now. I'm enjoying going live to watch the game and chatting to everyone and getting involved and building this community up. We're on the way to 3,000 subscribers and I think we're going to do that before Christmas. And that would be absolutely amazing because we're building a real honest, open community here that can chat about Chelsea, chat about football. Honestly, hold our hands up if we're wrong celebrate it when we're right and uh and have a good old chat about football because that's what we all like to do and ultimately when Chelsea are winning I can assure you it's a much happier place to be around and when we're moving in the right direction it's hard not to get excited about where this squad could eventually go to and this is potentially only just the beginning I'm hoping this managerial appointment is as good as it seems right now and we all had question marks don't you're lying to me if you didn't appointing a championship manager is incredibly risky but yeah he started really well and um, we've seen him in three different competitions now and he's he's riding the challenges that are set and he's that are sent towards him and he, he ultimately is proving that every time there's an issue he's addressing it and that's all I asked of Poch was realize your mistake and work on it don't let it be and say, oh no, that's not a mistake. It's meant to be happening. And and just persuade it. If something doesn't work, change it. And Maresca's not afraid to do so. And we're in, incre we're in an incredibly good position right now. Long may it continue. A uh, fantastic performance. And one to not get too down on the negatives the more I think about it with the, the individual errors. Because actually when you look at it as a team and you realise that that's the second eleven. It's not all that bad, is it? But look, bigger tests to come and hopefully we can we can take them with ease. That would be the best way for, uh, or the best outcome for those games. But even if they are a little bit more difficult, I expect this Chelsea team to be up to the challenge. 
and then we can start to really see what this team's made of. But for now, Chelsea are worrying teams, I can tell you that. We're worrying opposition fans. We look exceptionally good, whoever's on this pitch for Chelsea right now. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's see how it goes for, uh, for Forrest at the weekend.